Hey, is it possible this fish really does have a human face? Or is somebody trying to fool us with some kind of special effects fakery? I've got the answer to that watery mystery, plus answers on some other rather peculiar items that you guys sent in. Like this picture claiming to show a car that almost got sucked into a sinkhole. A picture that wants us to believe this is a flower that only blooms once every 400 years. And these three pictures claiming all these people are real. Can you spot which one is the fake? I've got all that, plus my favorite fake of the week. So turn down the lights, put on your thinking caps, and get ready to test your brains. Hey guys, Bill here. We're gonna be jumping all over that fish with the human face in just a second. But first, I've got some good news. Remember that submission that I got last week? Somebody wanted me to check out this island. So that supposedly is the most crowded island on the planet. Well, I told you guys that if you gave me 5,000 likes that I would go to this place and I would find out if it's real. And well, the good news is that uh, like right now, we are over 7,000 likes. So I am gonna be packing my bags and heading on down to South America to check out this island. Now, I'm not quite sure how to get there, but hey, I found my way to Area 51, right? So if I can find my way to the back gate of Area 51, I think I can find this island. Now, here's the plan. I'm gonna go down there. I am going to file either a full report when I get back, or I will be sending you some updates if I can find some internet to actually upload the video to YouTube, okay? So, wish me luck. Okay, so now what about this fish with the human face? The video was sent in by a whole bunch of you guys, but the first three to submit it were Kitty Marley, Toxic Nation, and Humble Three Door. Kitty wrote, saw this creepy video on TikTok. Real or fake? Well guys, you know, this is not the first fish with a human face that's coming in the door here, but I gotta tell you, it's one of the most convincing I've ever seen. So what do you say we take a little closer look on this one? A closer look at the video shows this fish by the shore of a pond or lake. It's eating something right at the edge of the water and seems to be pretty hungry. In the background, we can hear a woman speaking what sounds like Chinese. If we do a freeze frame of this creature, it clearly has what looks like a set of eyes, a nose, and some weird lips. Okay, so I guess the question here is this. Is this fish real, but the victim of some kind of deformity that makes it look like it has a human face? Or did somebody kind of manipulate that fish using a computer, special effects, or whatever to make it look like that? But hey, what I think doesn't really matter here. What really matters is what you think, okay? So now, when I say go, what I want you to do is go ahead and vote up here. And if you can't do that because you don't feel comfortable with that system or you have more to say, then just go ahead and pause the video, go down to the comment section, tell me what your answer is, real or fake or unknown, and tell me why you think it's real or fake or unknown. Then, if you happen to be watching on a TV or you're with your family or something like that, it's okay to just shout it out so everybody knows where you stand, okay? You ready? And go. Hey, while we're waiting for everybody to make up their minds and vote, what do you say we take a look at my favorite reel that came in this week? Something Siege sent in this video, and it shows how scientists at the University of Richmond successfully train rats to drive tiny cars in exchange for tasty bits of Fruit Loop cereal. The scientists said they're doing this to help improve treatments for mental health in humans. I'm not really sure what that means, but one thing I do know is if those, uh, you know, driverless cars that everybody's developing don't quite work out, we could always train these rats to drive us around instead. I mean, can you imagine what a world like that would be? It would be like, hey, two guys walk into a bar with a rat, and the bartender says, hey, what's with the rat? And one of the guys says, oh, oh don't worry about him. He's a designated driver. Okay, now that we know rats can drive little cars around, what do you say we get back to this fish with the human face on it, okay? Now, did you make your votes? Good, because 
I want to get to this right away. I've got a lot more to do in this show. So let's find out what we got going on here. Let's find out who's right, who's wrong, and whether this fish with that face is a real fish or somebody put that on there with a computer or something like that. And the official answer is, this may surprise you just a bit, but it is officially real. Thanks to my crack team of researchers on Facebook, we now know this fish is what is known as a ghost koi, which is a carp. And the human face is just another example of pareidolia. That's that phenomena where we sometimes see things that are not really there, like when we see a cloud that looks like a horse or something like that. In this case, with the help of top Facebook researcher, Jeff Kenobi Galicia, we see that if we zoom in close enough, we can tell that what looks like eyes are just random markings on the fish. If we freeze the video here, you see the real eyes are on the side of the fish's head. Now, as far as the nose, well, it's just more of the same, random markings that give it a kind of human nose appearance. Big shout out this week goes to Jeff Kane for finding the original video. It was posted on Weibo, which is the Chinese version of YouTube. Next up is this strange picture. It was first sent in by Xander Boy, who just wrote, Bill, is this picture for real? Xander Boy, as you probably already know, there are a ton of sinkhole pictures on the internet. Now, some of them are real, and some of them are, well, not so real. But as far as this one goes, what do you guys think? If you look closely at the picture, I'm not sure if it really makes sense at all. Now imagine you're a person who is driving the car and then suddenly a sinkhole gives way below you. Would you then just open the door and get out of the car, meaning you'd probably fall in the hole? And then there's this other thing, the, the, the strange lighting. It looks like the sun is hitting the back of the sinkhole, but that would be very difficult with the car in that position because the car would be creating a shade there. Here's how we're gonna vote on this one. If you think that's a real sinkhole with a real car and they both come from the same picture taken at the same time, then I want you to vote real. If on the other hand, you think somebody took a picture of a sinkhole and a picture of a car and mushed them together in Photoshop, then I want you to vote fake. And as usual, if you don't think we have a solid answer, you can always vote unknown, okay? All right, I got this. Let's see what we got. We got a real sinkhole or we got some kind of fakery going on. It could also be like that, you know, 3D art on the streets. You seen that stuff? Some of that stuff is crazy. I mean, look at this one. That's 3D art. That's crazy. All right, but well, let's get back to this one because we want to get to the answer and get on down the road. And getting on the down the road means I tell you uh, that regardless of how you vote, there is a solid answer. And that solid answer is, ladies and gentlemen, real. According to a number of news sources, this event happened in China not long ago. A man was driving his car to work when suddenly a sinkhole just appeared under his car. The man, however, was rescued and did not suffer any injuries at all. I just wish we had the video of the driver explaining to his boss why he was late for work. Okay, and now for something a little different here on Real or Fake. Anthony Weir, I think that's his name, yeah. Anthony Weir sent in this picture of this girl. And you know what he asked me? He asked me, hey, is that picture of that girl, is that a real girl in that picture? At first glance, this girl looks very real to me. I mean, there is nothing about her that looks fake. Everything about her face seems well proportioned, her hair looks natural, and it has a lot of detail to it. I mean, there are just no signs of any Photoshop being used on this picture. But you know what? You know what the answer was? This girl is completely fake. She was 100% created in a computer. According to an article in MyMed Magazine, a software engineer named Philip Wang created a website called this person does not exist. When you go to the website, and I'll provide a link down in the description box, you are shown a picture of a person that was created by artificial intelligence software from scratch. Now, each time you refresh the site, it comes up with a completely new fake face. I mean, it's pretty amazing. So anyway, I thought how we would handle this would be a little bit different. This is how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna show you three pictures of three human faces. 
Take a close look at each one of them and then go vote as to which one you think is the real human. And if you don't think any of them are real, then just vote none. Okay, did you vote? Good, because I'm gonna get at this and we're gonna find out which one of those guys was the real human being in there. I mean, what a world we live in these days. I mean, when you got it, you can't even tell who's real and who's... Have you heard about these things called the deep fakes? Now that stuff's really off the wall. That stuff, you can take anybody and make them say whatever you want them to say in their own voice. I mean, it's some of the craziest stuff I've ever seen. Okay, but in terms of this one, oh boy. Um, let's say you voted for number four, none, right? Well, you'll be correct because they're all Fake. I don't know about you, but the next time I get a friend request on Facebook, I'm gonna be very sure I know that person before I hit confirm. That's for sure. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there is a flower in the Himalayas known as the pagoda flower. And it is said to bloom only once every 400 years. This picture claims to show a pagoda flower in bloom and was first sent in by Jasper Disaster. Jasper just wrote, Bill, is this a real picture of a pagoda flower? Jasper, I gotta be honest with you, I've never heard of a pagoda flower, but can you imagine like just going on a vacation and you're, you know, just tramping around, you're on this tour or something, and you come across this flower and you go, oh, that's a, that's a pretty flower, I think I'll, I think I'll take a picture of that. You take it home, you put it on your Facebook or whatever, and then somebody tells you, hey, you know what? You just took a picture of a flower that only looks like that once in 400 years. And oh, by the way, just seeing that flower in bloom brings you good luck for the rest of your life. Now that's what I call a picture of a lifetime. So what do you guys think? You think this is a real pagoda flower that only blooms every 400 years? And this particular plant, if it is blooming, that means the last time it bloomed was like 300 years before we even had such a thing as a camera. I don't know. Go ahead and leave your votes up here. Answers down in the comment section or just shout it out. I'm gonna get out this and we're gonna find out what we have here. Like one of the most rarest photo of the rarest plant blooming ever or just a big fat. And you got it right because the official answer is fake. Thanks to the Alpine Garden Society, we now know this is not a pagoda flower, but rather something called a room nobile. This flower grows in the same area as the pagoda, but blooms like this every year, not just once in 400. The picture was taken by Martin Walsh, and it made it to the cover of the Alpine Garden Society newsletter. Okay, well that's about all she wrote for that section of the show, but hey, if you're thinking about clicking away, I wouldn't do that. I still gotta show you my favorite fake of the week. And hey, don't forget, we have a new show every Friday, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so you get a shot at being first official comment and win the pin. If you have a picture and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it in to me at billschannel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. Please don't leave links or suggestions in the comment section because really, the only thing that is gonna do is turn me into a mega screamer screaming, you're driving me crazy! See you next time. And now for my favorite fake of the week, this video, sent in by William Cherry, claims to show the late Osama Bin Laden doing some home karaoke to the beat of Lady Gaga's Poker Face song. You can read my poker face! At first, the guy, you know, kind of looks like Osama, but that isn't what gives it away. What gives it away is that everybody already knows that Osama only does karaoke to Madonna songs. Number two.